if my cost of turnover is 33% of my payroll cost, and I think that if I just increase salaries by 5%, I could reduce that attrition significantly. I can go to my CFO and say, I want a 5% increase in my budget to avoid a 33% cost. And that's super, super important and super insightful business insights for business leaders. And it's super important for your investors. They want to make sure that you are managing your human capital efficiently and effectively. And if you have rampant attrition, that has a very significant cost to the organization. So that's a big one, even on a global basis. And um, Solange, we, if I may, just to be able to articulate that as the rationale for making a 5% greater investment. I mean, it makes perfect sense, but if you don't have those insights and can't make that case, it just looks like, well, we're throwing money at a problem to try to stem attrition. And that yeah. may, um, that, that's not an argument that should resonate. So, yeah, yeah so, so we've got diversity, we've got training, we've got um, employee turnover. I saw human rights in there as well. Yeah. And Human rights, it's, it's turning into a big social issue of the S from ESG. Um, and, you know, we've always seen human rights be part and parcel of the monitoring, the governance monitoring agencies. But now we're actually looking at more quantitative data versus qualitative data around that. So instead of just having a policy about child labor laws or human rights, the monitoring agencies are actually looking for quantitative evidence of your policy outcome, whether or not you're actually reducing bad behavior or encouraging good behavior from a quantitative perspective. So we're seeing that.